welcome back to Mystic Worlds, and as always, this is Safe Haven, and we're back here today in our little way station base. And I went back through Cloud Canyon off camera, as I said I was going to, and I picked up all the loot, the diamonds, and so on and so forth, and I've sort of organized everything here. So we're ready to go again. It's as simple as that. I'm all prepared today to go out and check out the next area on the agenda. So that will be the opposite way of the Cloud Canyon pathway. We're going to visit the rail line and then pick an area off of that to check out. So here we go. Nothing too exciting happened off camera, just kind of menial loot collection. So we could either do Cathedral of Shadows or Depths of Hell. It's currently set to Depths of Hell. So, I kind of want to do the cathedral, I think, today. So, let's go ahead and, there we go. Let's try and see what we've got down here. Now, it may just be that we have to go to that area first. That might be a prerequisite, that kind of thing, to do in this area. But, it's no good unless you try. So, try here and see how we get on. I was pressing left shift there because that's what I was expecting it to be. There's gas somewhere in here. I have to be mindful. I just want the box. Hint. Let's take a read of the hint. And uh, kind of stand in here a little bit. You need to find a clue in the basement of the cathedral. It is your only way of finding the single monument piece in this room. Okay, so we need to get to the basement then. Have my bow out here. Thank goodness rush on decent terrain in this area. We don't have to worry about things blowing up all around me. So, we have this area up here. Ooh, that's a blaze spawner. No thank you. No, go away. Ugh. So this leads us to a, whoa, a bedrock area. There's a gas spawner up here that I did not see. There we go. I'm going to take that out. And this guy over here could be a problem. Not anymore. So do we see any other gas spawners around, or is it just that one there? There's some blaze spawners over there. There's probably some sort of loot around here on the edge. This is probably an area to check out later. We do need to get to the cathedral basement before we do anything. So I kind of want to do that first and then move on from there. Can I ease my way past that spawner? I think I can. We've got another one over there. It's pigmen again swarming all over the place here. There we go. Oh, can I not reach that? There we go. So let's see what we got around here. I'm mainly looking for that entrance to the basement. It's probably that right there. We're going to clear out ground level of any spawners, though, that I see along the way here. Just to make it a little bit easier. The creeper spawner in there. There we go. We'll take this gas spawner out here. Then I'm going to go back for that creeper spawner. There we go. What is that? Skeleton? No, thank you. We got back here. Another hint. This must be the hint in the basement. So let's take a read. Walk across the path at the back end of the cathedral and find your way to reach that pillar of glowstone. Okay, so that's the next place to go. And this just kind of links around here, and that's pretty much it, it seems. So we've got to go to the back of the cathedral, and then go to, what was it, a pillar of lava? Is that what it said? That's not that, that's not the right book. Pillar of glowstone. Okay, so we're looking for a pillar of glowstone now, at the back of the cathedral. So I assume... Hmm. Ooh. Hello. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, you've done it now. 
of spawners around here. We're gonna have to be careful. Creepers. This is not the back of the cathedral. Uh, thought I was gonna hit a pig man though for the, there for sure. Here's a pillar of glowstone. Well, it's not a pillar of glowstone. It's a pillar with glowstone on the top of it. But that does seem to be behind the cathedral, so I think we should go this way. So what do we got? There's a gas spawner up there. That much is clear. And gas just spawned from that spawner. There's a little bedrock cavern here for strange reasons. Ooh, gotta be mindful of the drops. Don't wanna fall in here. That could be really bad. Where are you at? There we go. And where does this lead us? I don't think we've come the right way. That much is clear. Kinda of figured that there'd be something in here, but I was wrong. I probably need to get a better angle at it. I want to get that gas spawner. Definitely want to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. We might be able to find our way back the correct way instead. There we go. Because I know the pillar of glowstone is here, so being as we know that, I'm just going to head straight for it. That would make sense. Is there any ways in to this? Or do we just climb up the side of it? I guess we'll just climb up to the top and see what it has to offer. Some bedrock there. There's a chest here. Ooh. Okay, where did I take a wrong turn out then? Is there like a staircase that I didn't see or something down there? Hint and fire protection armor. I guess I don't need any of this stuff. I really don't need those right now. To be honest, all this armor, I'll come back for that. Get rid of that bone too. So is this the third hint? Nope. What about this one? Nope. Third time lucky? Yes. Okay. Now that you have this armor, go back to the beginning and walk up the mossy stone stairway. To your left will be a doorway. Reach it and you'll know where to go. Cool. Cool, cool. So, being as that is uh, where we need to go next, I guess we should... Oh. Take the opportunity to do that. After I stop being set on fire. Gosh. I only touched it for a second. <laughs> uh. So, I don't know as there's a way down. Ooh, you're in bedrock. That's not fun. Let's get out of here. It was there, so I wonder if it was to do with this, maybe. I guess so. That would have been really hard to find, though, by normal means. Anyway, back to the path and the trail. So let's go ahead and now head back to the entrance, as it said, and we need to go to the mossy stone stairway, this thing here. Hello, Magma Cube. Did I miss that on the first run? I must have. There we go. Because this is the entrance here. Must have just missed that on the first trip. So, up we go. And what did it say to look for? Again, what are we looking for here? A doorway. Okay, I assume it's this way because the spawners indicate that. Get that blaze. There's another blaze dead ahead. There we go. And I guess that's the doorway, huh? <laughs> You're not going to do nothing to me when it's all bedrock, my friend. Here's the doorway. Oh, and the phone is ringing. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. For some reason, it always seems to be this series when the phone rings. It's really annoying. But, problem solved. So, we've got the last hint here. 
Around the cathedral are pillars of cobblestone. One of them hang down. Look for the moving lava and use the armor and potions to sink down into the monument piece room. Okay, so we're just one hint away now. And hopefully we will be able to find the monument piece. But even so, there's still a lot of this cathedral that we've not explored yet. So I'll probably do a little bit of exploration of the rest of it too. There might be some loot, thinking there's something up there that would be worth having. So, we've got to find the... I guess I'll put the axe back on the bar. We've got to find the one pillar with the flowing lava next to it. And one of them hangs down, apparently. Let's see. Ah, there's the one that hangs down. And there's the flowing lava. So now we've got to find our way down. Very interesting concept to try and hide the wall down here. Well, whatever monument block it happens to be. Nice little puzz puzzle. We've got, uh, oh, this one. Okay. That is not a required monument piece, but what it is, is actually... It used to be the double stone slab, but that no longer exists anymore. So, under that ID, that is. So, we will just place this in the stone slab block, as that is the the one it's talking about. Anyway, now that we have found the objective for this area, I guess we could do a little bit of exploration again and see what all is left to check out in this area. We have fire resistance now, so we don't have to fear any gas or blazes, not that we really had a big issue with them before. The fire is kind of obnoxious, but there's not much I could do about that. We got around here. There's a spawner in that. Nope. There's a chest. What's that got in it? Some pork chops. Cool. So, there was something on the roof, wasn't there? It looks like there's something here, too. Where's this lead? Oh, does this lead just back down here? Okay. So all I'm seeing now, then, is just the roof, and that seems to be it. Spiders? Ooh, that's not good. So there's clearly a spider spawner up there somewhere. Alright. Well, there's the gas spawners. I'm gonna use a ender pearl throw here and try and aim for that. Ooh, all the gas. Oh man. Let's see what do we got here? Just the two now. No. There we go. There's one. The spider again. There's two. There's three. And there's four. And one gas left. Then what's down here? What's the spider spawner? Can I reach that? No. Be careful you don't get knocked off. Was there re no reason to come here at all? <laughs> it was just a, a trick. There was no loot here. Raven there, guy. So I guess that must be it then. That's the uh, cathedral. Just got to go ahead and pick up that loot that's over there on that glowstone pillar. Oh no, I got that loot, didn't I? No, there is loot in there, and that's it. I think that's everything for this area. Just a small little quiet area, I guess. Uh, with a fun, puzzly challenge in it, which I'm a big fan of. Makes you have to look around and go on a bit of a trail. Kind of like that. It's a bit different than just fighting mobs all the time. So, I guess now we'll head back to the monument at this point. We might as well drop off that block. And after that, next episode, there will just be one area of the nether left to explore, which is the Depths of Hell, I think it's called. So that was a fun area. So now I will meet you guys back at the main base. Here we are once again in the main base and about to deposit the next victory block. So 
this is up here on the second floor all the objectives we do have left are, are ugh, I don't know what I was trying to say there are on the second floor so still missing pumpkin I have a feeling the pumpkin is the one area in the nether we haven't explored still missing the end portal frame still missing the obsidian and the dragon egg we have this now and the ice block so this nether brick slab here is a special type of block that used to be this um, now I'm not gonna attempt to spawn one of those in I'm just gonna use this block uh, if anybody has any questions then I'll just direct them to this video so here we go on a three a two a one so there you have it that's uh, that's that one down just missing the ice block for this one now so what are we missing here there's one on that one, two, three, four, five objectives in here, and a pirate left. So, it's not too bad, I have to say. I'm pretty happy with that. So, next episode we will go after the final area in the nether, which is probably going to lead us to finding the pumpkin here. And then after that we will adventure on into the final zone of the map, which is probably going to contain these two and this one and I'm looking and possibly the ice block actually I'm looking let's just assume for a second that the last area in the nether has the pumpkin so once we have the pumpkin then we're going to be left with end portal obsidian dragon egg and ice block now three of the four objectives that we would have left are end themed so I wonder if the end is actually in this I haven't looked it up or anything so I'm not sure that is quite interesting. We might have the end in this map. I've never seen that done before, so that could be quite interesting. The ice block, I'm not so sure about. Now, that could just happen to be in an overworld area that we've missed or something like that. We'll just have to see. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, see you later, and have a good day.